Rob will return to Premiership action this weekend and uh, you go in with a bit of spring in your step after last weekend. Yeah, obviously an important win um, and great for the, the lads involved to kind of get out there and, and play some really good rugby. Uh, and as I say, just, just get some front foot, just get some front foot rugby played really in an enjoyable way. Um, I was just really pleased at the way they, kind of the energy they put into the game, the way they expressed themselves and, you know, the way they enjoyed, you know, showing the qualities that we talk about a lot. And I think that's very important and we've, we've talked about that this week. Um, we've trained well this week in a short, in a short week. Um, and obviously we're aware that, you know, it is a tough trip to Newcastle. They're on pretty good form, you know, they're, they're certainly not a team that are, are kind of there to be taken lightly by any means. I think everyone's aware of that when you look at their results um, and obviously look at our results. And so, um, you know, it's going to be a tough game for us, but I, I think we're preparing and have prepared so far in a very professional way. You talk about results, but you're not a million miles away, you know that, and this mm. is a big block of Premiership games coming up now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think, um, as I said, you know, we've got to very much focus on ourselves and, um, and trying to get ourselves up to speed and the intensity we want to be. You know, I would say in a lot of ways, I think we're starting to look kind of mentally fit for the season now. And I know that might sound a bit strange, but I think that's, that's where we are. And, I've kind of said to the players that the expectation for me is for us to accelerate our way through the season now. I think we've come through not a sticky patch, but a patch we probably needed to, just to to make sure we all remembered what the Premiership's all about. And I think sometimes that's important. I think I think that's happened now, and I think on the whole we look a, a lot more comfortable group in in knowing what we want to try and achieve over the next few months. And the walking wounded looks a lot better now. You've got a, a number of players back training and looking fit again. Yeah, we've got more and more coming back um, and over the next two or three weeks we'll have, have more as well. So great to have Phil Dorman back, obviously Dave Ewers in the mix as well. Good to see Will Chudley now starting to get up and running and you know, they've been important players for us when we've had good periods in the season so you know it's always nice to see them coming back. Don Armand's back in full training now so he won't be too long. Um, you know, and Jack Noel and Luke and Dickie are, are moving around a little bit as well now. So, you know, we are we are starting to look a bit thicker again, <coughs> which is going to be important for us um, over the course of the season. But but overall, I think it's more about where we are as a team, where we are as a squad. Um, and I do I do feel we're kind of on an upward curve. And I think in a lot of ways, this is an ideal test for us. You know, going to Newcastle on a Friday night. You know, it's you know, they're probably their biggest crowd of the season. Um, and I think that those are the kind of challenges we've got to start relishing and, and making sure that we, you know, we remake the opportunity, the most of those opportunities because they're Premiership games. And you know, I, I talk a lot to players about them being very precious things, and that's how I want us to play. I want us to play every game like it's a precious thing, and you know, we've got to go and make the absolute most of it. One of the keys to winning up there last year was your fast start. Is that mm. something you'll target again this year? Yeah, I mean, well, obviously, I mean, every team wants to get out of the blocks and try and get some get some points on the board. It puts pressure on the opposition. It takes a bit of pressure off yourselves. But again, we haven't really spoken about that. We just talked about the qualities we want to show, the, th the things that we want to emphasise within the game. Uh, and some of that's around pace and tempo. But you know, that's what you have to do on a on a on a fast surface on a rubber crumb pitch anyway. And, and Newcastle are, are more than capable of dealing that with that themselves as well. So th there's a few challenges there for us. But as I said. The first and uh, most important for one is for us to, to turn up with an attitude to win a game of Premiership Rugby. You talk in the past as well that the boys use the Anglo-Welsh as a, as a chance to stake mm. their claim and a number of youngsters have done that. How pleased are you by that? Yeah, I mean definitely. I mean, I think, I think nowadays, you know, you stake your claim in, in more than one way. I think a lot of people think, you know, staking your claim means, you know, that if you play well, it might mean you get a Premiership start. It doesn't necessarily mean that. Well, what it means for a lot of young players is it gives you the opportunity to be considered as a as a potential first team player and a potential first team squad player moving forward. And I think I think what a lot of our, the young players did, they kind of showed that they're, they're the kind of young players that we should consider uh, kind of moving up into the squad and moving through the rankings here at the club over a period of time. And I thought that was that was what was really impressive. You know, it's, it's relatively difficult just to make wholesale change on the back of one, you know, um, you know Anglo Welsh. Uh, cup win, uh, you know, especially against a much changed Cardiff side. But what they did show is they showed really good qualities, and it's those qualities that, that stood out and enabled and will enable them to move forward in the future as players here, hopefully. And obviously, the other players that haven't played the last two weeks have recharged the batteries, and they will have them fully firing. Yeah, and that's the challenge. The challenge is between the guys who are there and up and running now, and the guys who've managed to refresh um, and get back to 100%. So you know, it's, it's a nice situation to be in. We've got quite a good group to select from. Uh, as I said, we're just we're just going to relish getting up there and playing and getting involved in a big game of Premiership rugby.